Let's play Strong Bad Zone. Made by Videlectrics in 1987. This game is the best game ever made with vector qualities. So basically, in order to play this game, you have to bounce your shots back at Strong Bad. This was eventually ported for the virtual console for the Wii. Available from Videlectrix. For free, actually. What am I saying? It's not for the virtual console. Am I completely insane? Yes, yes I am. So the point of this game is to reflect your projectiles back at Strong Bad, who fires them at you. Ow. One of the earliest games to use voice synthes synthesizers. Silly me, I can't pronounce anything today. Or any day. Alright, so ideally, whenever you're hit, Strong Bad's head regenerates one little bit, and he's supposed to do that every time you lose, and there's a score that's supposed to be kept. However, because Videlectric was so rushed, it never ended up happening. Instead, we get this completely unplayable demo. The only thing good that came out of this was the fact that they had, well, voice synthesis. Well, that's enough of that. Let's play the Wii version. Okay, this is more like it. Let's play. Notice that the graphics have been redrawn so that they look similar to the original, but are a lot more clean. Also, notice the addition of music. It's very simple music, but this is the music that they intended for all this time. So the game or you playing as this spiky-haired cyber shield guy with a cyber shield. There we go. This game resolves all the glitches that Videlectric could not resolve with their 2-bit memory software. No, quite literally 2-bit. It worked for the Atari 1300. Though it was eventually ported to the Videlectric's original fun machine. Sold along track the 7 track player. It sold alongside the 7 track player, what am I saying? It was probably one of the biggest marketing failures of all time. Even worse than the 3DO. Oh! But this game plays exactly like you'd think it would. Just point the Wii remote, and just press up, or no, point up, what am I saying? In order to make your cyber shield guy block with the cyber shield. Notice that there are sound effects added whenever Strong Guy gets hit. So they don't just use that very, very simple voice synthesizer. No, they actually go all the way. Oh. Once again, I'm hit, and Strong Bad regenerates. Oh. See, putting this game onto the Wii was a risky choice. The controls are a bit finicky. Now, the trick is that you can't move while you're wielding your cyber shield. You have to pull down on the screen in order to make it work. So you have to have the controller pointed to the very bottom of the screen nearly all the time if you want to move. And just when his shot is getting close to you, you point the thing up. Now, I can't actually tell. Are you supposed to get the least amount of points or the most? I always forget. I think it's the least amount of points, since your score counts up when you're taking more time. Though I do believe you get a bonus for defeating Strong Bad, which is kind of counterintuitive. Alright, so I'll just continue bouncing these shots off of Strong Bad. Alright, one hit left. And there we go. Wait, who are you talking to? Certainly not me. Well, this has been Let's Play Strong Bad Zone. Probably the best game for the fun machine. Although, there were very few games for the fun machine. Bye.